Hey guys, Ken here. Welcome back to LA Nor. We are going to continue the campaign. Uh, we are on arson. After we got demoted last video, we are on the arson cases now. The gas man. We shall see what this is all about. the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like pork in that German whore, Phelps? <laughs> Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. Yes, sir. I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, Tilden? Phelps, I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. This is arson. There are no ropes. It shouldn't take long, then. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Then go to 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, detective. Now get out of here. Both of you. Get out! Yeah, so we got two house fires to investigate. <laughs> they weren't even his friends, and he still confessed. I say, we say where's the exit? Find the goddamn evidence. You're the reason brothers and sisters shouldn't marry. Um, that's not the room I wanted. Ooh, this is a nice car. You know the way. You can drive. All right. Where to? How long have you been working, Arson? We gonna do the small talk thing now? Talk baseball, exchange addresses? I don't think so. Feeling down, hot chef? Need a buddy? I'll look somewhere else. Man, we're getting off on the wrong area. There isn't much left. There never is if the job's done properly. You think it was deliberate? Nah, that's real pain in your face. They would have moved out the things they care about if this was insurance. There's no mileage in this. Hello, Mike. Hey, Hirsch. Cap this one. Yeah. Mike Brannigan, Cole Phelps. It's okay, Brannigan. His name may be dog shit, but there's none in his hand. No offense, Phelps. None taken. Do you have anything? The fire started late last night. Stepped family at Catalina Island. Won some kind of competition. Looks like the only thing they ever won in their lives. Let me come home with us. I'd say they were pretty lucky, really. They don't have any insurance. Everything they own, including the house, is not a pile of rubble. Where are they sleeping? In the car. Lucky the whole block didn't burn down. Where it is, they're bulldozing this whole neighborhood to build new homes for GIs. That's the man in the house. In the ruins. Terry Lady is his wife. We'll take a look around. Come on, Phelps. Dirty cop from the newspaper. 
Oh, now we're getting a bunch of that's the dirty cop. Isn't that the cop who caught the guy that was pretending to be dead? What even is there to investigate? Yeah. Nah. Now, why would this be a significance? This wouldn't be significance. Incidental. Remember the dead lady they found under the train? Solve the case. Look some bar fly for the murder. What's he looking at in the back? Were you just looking at something? Bitch looks a lot like the cop that pointed a gun at me. How come they couldn't uh, put out this fire with the garden hose? Oh, wait, that's right, they're out of town. Dummy, yeah. How come the neighbors couldn't do that? How come the neighbors wouldn't want to save the house? I would do that for my neighbors. Mr. Stevens. Cole Phelps and Herschel Biggs, LAPD. I know it's a difficult time, but could we have a word? Don Stephens. You were out of town. We won a prize. We had a wonderful time. Came home to this. Do you still have the tickets? Sure. It's a formality, but we'll need to speak to the issuing agent. Why why is his why is his mugshot or whatever look like he's drunk? Can you tell me any more about the prize that you won, Mr. Stephens? Weekend at Catalina Island. My uh, wife got this flyer in the mail from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Did you enter any kind of competition? My wife filled in a flyer. The lady just rung up and told us we won. First time I ever won anything. The redevelopment fund. Did they offer to buy you out? They're building new houses. They showed their money and most of the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. But I never bargained with them. Are you sure about that? Everyone else is selling, but you're the holdout, aren't you? Yeah, I was the last. I thought I could hold out for a better price, my house is the center lot. So now you have to take the price regardless. Looks like it. I've got no choice. I have to put a roof over my family. That's all we need for the moment, Mr. Stephens. All right. Hmm. We got a game well we could use up here. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. 
detective. I need information on the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Yes, detective. Just checking. The fund is a semi-government agency is established to speed up the building of GI homes. It has private investors as well as a government endowment. Huh. You have an address for them. There is one listed here, corner of Beverly and Mariposa. Thank you. Wow. If we're done investigating this house, we might as well head up there. Hi, good girl. Sorry, my dog's in, in the room with me right now. He's the dirty cop from the newspapers. You're behind the wheel. So where do you want to go? Oh, I want to go over there. Oh, she might be done. I want to travel. I sure do want to travel. I want to go to California. I want to live out there, dude. Nah, you get all the earthquakes and crap out there. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. John Cunningham, can I help you, gentlemen? What can you uh, tell yes. us about the travel tickets that you issued to the Stephens family? Stephens. Oh, let me see. Family of five, I think. Uh, trip by flying boat to Catalina Island. Tickets were issued last week and redeemed this weekend. Well, that's it. Here they are. Stephens. You know what's weird? There's a bunch of people going out to Catalina Island. Uh, who are you? Oh. Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of LA. Sure. So they are not a government agency? <laughs> I don't believe so. Government organizations don't usually get involved in promotions. How sure are you? I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. You do a lot of these prizes. Look, there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. While the Stephens family was at Catalina Island, their house burnt down. You consider them lucky? Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me who offered the prize they won? Sure. Look, there's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw with hundreds of tickets. But the reality is the Suburban Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who has won. Thanks for your help. Oh, no problem. I wish I could do something for that family. You could put round the half. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. I could tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you? Good man, Cunningham. You're all right. Yeah, I'm great. Poorer, but great. <laughs> um, you expect me to drive, sir? Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? I don't like driving. Let me guess. You want to check out the Suburban address? Great partners must think alike. I hate driving. I don't know why. I just don't like driving. This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the Redevelopment Fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. Sure, buddy. Thanks for your help. Alicia and her investors in the suburban redevelopment. So what? 
If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're out of your mind. Have there been any other house fires? This is arson. We get an average of two a night. Does that answer your question? We'll go to the other house. Unless this is the same house as earlier. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yes, it is. Oops. Um, let me get back in the car. Sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. I gotta hit tab. Locations. Um... Oh, wait, Sawyer? Oh. Okay, let's go over here then. Uh, wait, the corner? Oh, shiza. Who are you? Hi, Albert. We've got this case. Hey, Biggs. We? You have a partner? What gives? This is Cole Phelps. You may have read about him. Oh, now I get it. Hello, Phelps. Welcome to the netherworld of ours. Family of four found dead in their beds. Heater explosion. Hey, another one? Looks that way. Insta Heat Model 70. Before you get excited, we get a couple of water heaters a month go back. Take a look around the yard and see what you can find. Okay. Let's do that then. Val. You gonna stick it out, Cole? I'm gonna try, Mal. What have you got? Family by the name of Sawyer. Mother, father, and two kids. All in bed from the looks of it. Oh, I'd say carbon monoxide poisoning. The burns are superficial. Time of death. I'd say about midnight. Anything more exact will take some time to determine. Lynch tells me this has something to do with the faulty water heater? Could be. There's been a spate of problems with a particular brand. I've got another angle in mind. You care to elucidate, Detective? This is a murder and not an accident. Sharing information has helped us solve quite a few cases together. I need something concrete now before the department gets wind of it. I'm in arson for a reason. I feel sorry for your wife and kids, Phelps, not for you. Ugh. But you're a good case, man. One of the best I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, Mal. I'd say that's firm but fair. How about the insurance companies write these incidents up as acts of God? You know, this book came up twice. I'm kind of suspicious now on that book. I wonder how good the book is. A clock. It's not going to really do us any good. Um... Yeah, no, not gonna do us any good either. I'm thinking if we went outside, there's obviously gonna be something. No, it's got to be something. What engine company is this? 
27. Okay. okay. Yes. Hey, Biggs. Is this significant? Regulator valve. Good find. Detectives, this is the next door neighbor, Detective Phelps. Can you help? They were supposed to be going away. They won a trip somewhere, but little Henry got sick, so they had to cancel. What are the chances? Do you know who ran the competition? Gulliver's Travel, up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks. You've been a big help. Phelps, the guy across the street. I've seen him before. He likes fire. There he is. Hurry, he you can see him away. catch him. So why are we chasing this guy? Stop! LAPD! Don't mind me, we're just running through your yard. A family died in that fire. We need to ask some questions. Ah! Ah! You lousy piece of shit. All right, I'm here dead. we go. I got you now, motherfucker. Cole cocked him. Knocked him right out. What's your name? Herbert Chapman. So you like fires? Some. Watching them were setting them. I don't want any trouble. Turn out your pockets. You're not a boy, aren't you, Herbert? I keep myself to myself. Cigarette in a matchbox gives you a five or six minute delay. You want more time, you use a mosquito coil. Don't you, Herbert? You like this fire, Herbert? Hell no. I heard it over the fire radio. Sounded sweet. When you finish following your leads, come and see me at the fire station. I have a theory about this. Will do, Lynch. Take this guy in. We might want him for questioning later. You got it, Detective. Why have you got such a hard on for this case? If it is murder, it's almost impossible to prove. Fire doesn't leave much evidence. There's no percentage in this. I think it's more than one case. They're house fires, Cole. Accidents, heater fires, gas explosions. There's got to be a reason. But the reason is you want to be a star again. Forget it. Give it up. You'll feel better. There's something to this. I know it. What are you talking about? Arson is insurance. It's always been insurance. We still investigate the cases, Biggs. The people in this house are dead. Go soak your head, Phelps. This hero business is a full-time obsession with you. I'm gonna make this case. I'm gonna rub the department's nose in it. Help me, or stay out of my way. You got it? Now where do we go? Are we missing something? Please tell me we're not missing anything. How come it feels like we're missing something? Hold on guys, I'll be right back. Okay, so we gotta go back to that Stefan's house fire because we missed something. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. We missed... We missed a crucial part in it. I'm very surprised that we have missed it. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Yo. 
Where is it? There it is. We might have missed this part, Insta Heat. Recently serviced. Could be something to go on. When he says we should visit him at Fire Station 32. Who exactly is this guy, Lynch? Lynch is a legend. You should feel privileged. He doesn't let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut, and you'll learn something about fires. Okay, now let's go to 32. Fine. Where are we headed? Oh, is it because we're parked up next to a hydrant that's illegal? As far as I know. We came as soon as we could. Goddamn ruins. We're having a season from hell. Lynch. Biggs? You two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. Is the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. I have a theory, and it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove... Well, if you say it's so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve, and the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. Yeah. Okay. Does that... How am I supposed to... Wait, no, that doesn't go there. I would assume it goes there. Wait, we put that there. And then we take this guy. But wait, okay, that's the balloon. My guess is that this goes here. That goes there. Goes at the end. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. And then... This again might be this guy. And then we put this here. The gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's going to ignite. What do you mean gas bubble? Oh, so we have to switch it around then? If not, I'm going to look it up. Okay, I will be right back. Eh, the whole thing is so stupid, dude. Th that whole thing is really stupid. Yeah, that whole thing is so stupid. I I'm sorry, I'm looking it up because I don't I don't I don't really care for this game. I'm just doing it just because Good, your regulators in position. I'm just doing this just because 
I've always didn't. I've always not liked the game only because of like the answers and stuff. Okay, I'll light your pilot and turn the gas. You pull the. Whew. So that's how it's being done. Maybe there could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. Let's hope not. Hey, can I drive Five. this? But if the skipper sees us driving around in this, we're dead. That's so cool. Show? The next fight. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. That's so you know this cool. Don't do that again. Shut up. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? We're going to the Instaheat headquarters. I just wanted to play with the siren. Guy's a freak. Loves fires. He's the kind of guy that we like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. I mean, we could pursue him with uh, this and that and the third. Insta heat. LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Rasick. You should find him in his office. As the cannibals finished off eating Watch the clown... Watch the Ham and Galahad said, fight? Did that taste funny Some mess that was. Anyhow, that's the cop that caught the guy. Where, where's the manager's office? This guy must have escaped from the loony bin. New and improved model. They'll be selling these like hotcakes. Poor guy must be going crazy. Oh. Okay. What are you, liquored up? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70. Uh, let me take a look. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. Uh, so you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. There's nothing wrong with the design. You're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Look, we've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? <laughs> it's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe either. All right, heater oh, service these history. prone to failure. They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years and then it perishes. So the guy's names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. I think you're lying, Rasik. I think. Some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. And how are you going to prove that, detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. Well, let's see. It was Harvest. What about Reginald Har Barley? <sighs> Service by no, Barley. Him. He's on the run for a divorce interstate. It's not so bad. You in the habit of hiring criminals, Rasik? I need guys, detective. This boom is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Okay, I'll get it for you. 
There. Around There's a dozen of them. You, okay. Housing business is going crazy at the moment. This is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. I want to run it by R&I, cross-reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. Only movie stars have things like that. Operator, give me dispatch. I wanted to be when I grew up. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, Detective, run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Kuttner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Barley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. Clemens Walter, previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four-year jail term. Thanks. Ryan Matthew, charged for contempt of court, attempted murder, plea bargain down to assault charge. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. Hmm. What are Your you employment looking roster at? is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Rasick. Desperate times indeed. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and 3rd. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and 1st Street. Varley, where is he? Beverly and Mariposa, currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do, but my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show him and keep quiet. Here. Happy now? Wait. What? Stick around, Mr. Rasick. What are you supposed to do? I completely missed that whole part because I'm like, I'm reading Snapchat right now. So, like, what are you doing? Clemens is a fellow traveler. Oh, good lord. What the hell is all this? Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. Ryan wants the world to be a better place, don't we all? <laughs> don't we all? company went through thousands of these in the war. Still got eaten alive. Wait, let me investigate that one more time because... Yep, that's what I thought. Barley has a problem with bugs. Wait just a second. Wasn't that used, like, way... Okay. Okay. You know that a we mosquito have a grill takes an hour to burn down, Rasik? No, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Gives them time to get away. You're crazy. 
He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Mind if I leave you to it? I got work waiting. Yeah, go right ahead. Let me just screw right off outside. Birds. Clemens, Ryan, Barley. Where to, Phelps? Where to? What are you doing? I gotta end the video. I got stuff to do. Oh, don't tell me. Is that a cop? The cop car just passed in this scene. Are you serious? Yeah, a cop. Okay, well, <clears throat> that'll do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will catch you guys all later. Goodbye. Bye.